Alright, uh, Shalom. Before I start, let me give all praises to Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rachach Rosh. Dev honors to the elders and apostles, Grand Millstone, peace, blessings, and salutations to all the elect Akim. Walk walk them learning, teaching, truth, and sincerity. I mean, basically, <clears throat> the point of this video being how uh, us. Uh, hang on. Alright, so now I can have to move around. Alright, basically, how us, the Israelites today, uh, we're the spiritual temple, alright, and we're rebuilding, and our Lord, Yahweh Shai HaMashiach, he's the head uh, of the temple, he's the head of the, uh, literally, of the corner, like the uh, the scripture uh, says, which I might have to, uh, uh, might have to get it, but Esau, Edom, and the rest of these heathen nations, they don't want us to continue building and finish building our spiritual temp uh, temple. They're trying to hinder us the same way that the heathens tried to hinder us in the past. All right, And the only difference between now and then, the main difference, the important difference, is that they're not going to hinder us. All right, Through through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, we're going to get our kingdom. All right, No matter what these devils do, no matter what these heathens do, no one is going to stop us, the nation of Israel as a whole. All right, Even when our wicked people die and come back, we're going to get what the Heavenly Father promised to us through His Son. And there's not a heathen breathing that is going to stop that. Alright, so let me get this now. This is uh, first address, you know, to show you all what I'm, what I'm talking about. We'll go into the history real quick. For those that, uh, that may not be familiar with the story, you can read about it. And us, because after the temple was destroyed, when Jerusalem had got ransacked, uh, when Nebuchadnezzar came in, you had the time period of around uh, uh, Nehemiah and uh, 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 Ezra, all right, of when uh, the temple was being rebuilded, all right, and you had people that, when I say people, the heathens that had a problem with that, they didn't want us building again, all right, why? Because of this right here, First Edris, which uh, Ez uh, Ezra uh, uh, is. Edris. Edris is the basically the Greek way of saying Ezra. All right. So this is First Edris, chapter two. I'm gonna start at verse. Uh, let me see. Con, uh, verse nineteen. I'm gonna be reading for a minute. It says, "Now if this city and the walls thereof be made up again, they will not only refuse to give tribute, but also rebel against kings." So they didn't want us building our temple. Because that, you know, they said we're going to rebel. It says, and at verse 20, And for as much as the things pertaining to the temple are now in hand, we think it meet not to neglect such a matter. These were some of the heathens speaking to King uh, Artaxerxes. Uh, it says, but to, speak, uh, but to speak unto the Lord, but to speak unto our Lord the King, to, to the intent that if it be thy pleasure, it may be sought out in the books of thy fathers. And thou shalt find in the chronicles what it is written concerning these things, and shalt understand that this city was rebellious, troubling kings and cities, and that the Jews were rebellious and raised always wars therein, for the which cause even this city was made desolate. Alright, so now I'm going to be jumping down. So basically, these heathens, they complained to us. Uh, I mean, Salaki, these heathens had complained had complained to the king that had us in slavery, that we should remain slaves, and that we shouldn't be allowed to rebuild our temple, all right? Otherwise, we're going to get out of hand again. All right, so let me finish on. Uh, first Edris uh, 2 and 25. Then the king wrote back again to Rathamus, the story writer, to Bel to the, uh, to Bel Tethmus, to Samelius the scribe, and to the rest that were in commission, and dwellers in Samaria and Syria and Phoenice after this manner. I have read the epistle which ye have sent unto me, therefore I commanded to make diligent search, and, hath, and it hath been found that the city, uh, it had been found that that city was from the beginning practicing against kings, and the men therein were given to rebellion and war, and that mighty kings and fierce were in Jerusalem, who reigned and exacted tributes uh, in Kol Assyria and Phoenice. All right, Kasalak. All right, now let me uh, 
Let me keep going up. Verse 28, it says, Now therefore I have commanded to hinder those men from building the city, and and he to be taken that there be no more done in it, and, and that those wicked workers proceed no further to the annoyance of kings. Then King Artaxerxes, his letters being read, uh, Rathamus and uh, Semelius the scribe, and the rest that were in commission with them, removing in haste toward Jerusalem, with the troop of horsemen and a multitude of people in battle array, began to hinder the builders. And the building of the temple in Jerusalem ceased into the second year of the reign of Darius, the king of the Persians. All right, so when you read up in this uh, book, in this chapter, King Cyrus, after, you know, he, after we went from being slaves to the Babylonians to under the Persian and the Medes, Cyrus had allowed us to build a temple. But the next king, Artaxerxes, he had uh, hindered us. All right, why? Because, and as it states, for those reasons, reasons, those heathens, they had looked in their scrolls and they said, dang, whenever these guys have their temple, whenever they're in power, they're putting hell on us, the whole earth. So we can't let them be in power. We can't let them have anything. And we see that in today's time. That's why Esau Edom is doing what he's doing with the YouTube, messing up the videos. All right. And that's why the police make sure they're always in our neighborhoods, beating our heads in. These heathens have made the covenant together to keep us away from who we are because they know when we know who we are, when we know who our uh, Heavenly Father is, when we know who uh, His Son is, that we can come back into power and they don't want that. And so now they're trying to hinder the spiritual building because right now we're not building an actual temple, but we're building one spiritually through the words of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, through waking up the elect in the one third. Okay, now this is Revelation 11 and 8. It says, uh, let me see, let me see. Yep, it says, And their dead bodies shall lie in the street of that great city, Babylon, which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt. Sodom because of all the wickedness that goes on here, and Egypt because it was a bondage, uh, a land of bondage for the Israelites, where also our Lord was crucified, uh, how they defame and blaspheme uh, the, son of, the Son of Man. All right, the son of the heavenly father, verse nine, and they of and they of the people and kindreds and tongues and nations shall see their dead bodies three days and a half, and shall not suffer their dead bodies to be put in graves. So these heathen nations, they seen what we went through here in the Americas. All right, they seen what happened to Northern Kingdom and to Southern Kingdom, and they didn't try to help us. That's how they're letting our dead bodies stay out. They didn't try to wake us up to who we are. They didn't try to free us out of the grips of Esau Edom. All right, they stayed in line with him to further oppress us so they can they too can make money off of us. All right, that's what it's talking about here in this Revelation 11. All right, so verse 10. And they that and they that dwell upon the earth shall rejoice over them and make merry and shall send gifts one to another because these two prophets tormented them that dwell on the earth. All right, so they were uh making glee and joy of us, the nation of Israel as a whole, being torn down. That's why there's liquor stores in every corner. That's why there's a, 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 a even though you might have a nigga on the Nike commercial running the ball, the people making the money off of it is the Nike company, who's owned by who? A bunch of heathens. All right, mainly Esau. All right, so these nations are glad to see us down. All right, your so-called best uh, East Indian friend you had in the world, he he was glad that he was born an East Indian in his mind. Because at least he's not a nigga. Alright. That's how they think. That's how they treat us. Everyone is happy to see us uh, suffer for their benefit. Did nobody come free us from Esau, Edom? So obviously they, they were in line with him. Verse 11. And after three days and a half, the spirit of life from the most high. Uh, yeah. The spirit of life from the most high power entered into them. And they stood upon their feet. And great fear fell upon them. Which saw them, Khan. So that spirit of life is entering back into us. Alright, like it tells <clears throat> Salaki, like it tells you in Ezekiel 37. Them dead bones is standing back up and it's putting fear into the people of this world, these heathens. That's why they're knocking down videos. That's why the police are patrolled by a camp. That's why people scoff. Because we're bringing this world back to reality, to the fact that the Israelites are supposed to be uh, at the top and no one else. And that it's about to happen very soon. Alright. And one of the ways that. 
we are being brought back to life is through this. Let me see, let me see. Con, perfect. Just to prove to you that that being dead uh, in that revelation, it wasn't talking about... Uh... Ooh. I got two. I got two. Let me get both of them. Ephesians chapter 2 and verse 5. It says, Even when we were dead in sins, hath quickened us together with Hamashiach. By grace ye are saved. So Yahweh Shai, him going on the cross, doing what he had to do, gave him the ability to be able to send us the comforter in these days and in these times, just how he sent it uh, 2,000 years ago to his apostles and disciples. So Yahweh Shai has sent his word back to us and is quickening the elect in the one-third. And we're standing back up upon our feet, putting fear into these heathens. They don't want to see us building. They don't want to see us coming back together. All right, hey, within the Israelite community, so-called, you know, we have our own rival factions. We have the different camps. We bump heads. But one thing that we can all agree on, or, you know, I, I would like to believe at least, <laughs> you know, the Messiah is going to come back and he's going to save us up out of this and put us at the top. And these nations don't want none of that. That's why they're trying to hinder us. All right, 1 Peter 3 and 18. For Hamashiach also hath suffered once, a slakia, hath once suffered for sins, uh, the just for the unjust, that he might bring us to the most high power, being put to death in the flesh, but quickened by the spirit, by which also he went and preached unto the spirits in prison, uh, which sometime were disobedient, when once the long suffering of the most high power waited in the days of Noah, while the ark was preparing were in few that okay con so basically Yahweh Shai him dying and going on that cross uh him you know uh then he was resurrected he did what he had to do so we could be brought back in this time today all right because we were a like the one in Ephesians 2 and 5 said we were dead in sins we were too far gone so Yahweh Shai sacrificed himself and that gave him the power to be able to bring us back to the Heavenly Father. And the heathen nations, they don't want none of that. All right, like it tells you in the book of Judith, uh, when those heathens were having that council, as long as we're going off and we're doing wickedly, they're going to have the best over us. We'll be downtrodden. But when we come back to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, there's absolutely nothing that any of these assholes can do against us. All right, so let me get uh, Ezekiel 37. I'm going to go straight to it, you know, the point. Do, 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 do. Uh, Ezekiel 37 and 9. It says, Then said he unto me, Prophesy unto the wind, prophesy, son of man, and say to the wind, Thus saith the Lord, Power, come from the four winds, O breath, and breathe upon these slain, that they may live. So, at, so I prophesied as he commanded me, and the breath came into them, and they lived, and stood up upon their feet, and exceeding great army and that's what's happening now all right Yahweh Shai has given us this word and we're standing up upon our feet an exceeding great army and it's putting a uh, horror into the sight of these heathens mainly Esau Edom that's why he's doing all these crazy things all right but nevertheless he's not going to stop us why because of things like this Matthew 16 and 18 and I say unto thee uh, and I say also unto thee, thou art Peter, and and upon this rock uh, I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. All right, so Yahweh Shai has men, all right, hey, hey, and Peter, you know, who we believe, uh, 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 King David, uh, back in this time today, would be uh, uh, King Masha. Of the uh, uh, the heads that were over our current uh, elders and apostles today, all right, and that church, and and look at where we're at now. That church is fully established, all right. You have the House of David back out here today, all right. And Lord willing, I'm a part of it. And all you sincere Akim, we're not going anywhere. Hey, Esau, Edom, he can't do anything to bring this truth down, all right. It says that he was loosed a little season, all right. But he's not going to knock down the house of David, the spiritual church. Why? Because it's set upon a rock. All right. And our current rocks is our elders and apostles and the brethren throughout all the four corners of the world.
pushing this word, all right? And we're not backing down, Esau. And you're not going to take, you're not going to, even if you strip us of our carnal life, then we'll be resurrected. So there's nothing you can do. Absolutely nothing. Kind of perfect right here. Uh, this is Ephesians 2, once again. <laughs> Matter of fact, let me get this verse too. It says, for through him, we both have access by one spirit unto the Father, that being Yahweh Shai. Now therefore, ye are no more strangers and foreigners, but fellow citizens with the saints and of the household of the Most High Power, and are built upon the foundation of the apostles and the prophets, like I, I just stated, literally, Yahweh Shai Hamashiach himself being the chief cornerstone. All right, so Yahweh Shai is at the head of it, the elders and apostles all the way down. Whoever uh, each one is in the proper order in the spirit, you know, whoever which, you know, because we don't know who's, who's which disciple, who's which apostle right now, but we know somebody's got to be somebody, and they're all back here today in order under Yahweh Shai. All right, uh, it says verse 21, in whom all the building fitly framed together, groweth unto an holy temple in the Lord. All right, so we're growing into a holy temple in the names of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right, perfect. Uh, verse 22, in whom ye also are builded together for an habitation of the Most High Power through the Spirit. So we're being built together for the Heavenly Father, all right, to be presented to Him. So you, Esau, Edom, they're sure as shit not going to knock us down. Hey, you devils aren't going to hinder us this time. You're just not going to do it. We're going to prevail this time. All the nation is, we are going to prevail. This temple will be rebuilt. And it's not talking about a, 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 a physical one. All right, this is, I'm taught, this is spiritual. This is parabolic. You know, for you, you know, I got to cover... Oh, see, uh, you need some scoffers. Oh, they said they're going to build a no. All right. We're building a spiritual temple. All right. We're waking up the elect and the one third of the nation of Israel to them coming back to who they are. All right. And that's hey, and that's it for that's it. You know, you aren't going to you aren't going to knock us down this time. You're not going to stop us. Matter of fact, let me get this. Ooh, out of uh, out of Revelation. So, let me see, let me see. Yep, okay. I might end it on this one. Revelation chapter 3, verse, uh, yeah, I'm, I'll end it on this one. Revelation 3 and 10. Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I will also keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. Behold, I come quickly, hold that fast which thou hast, that no man take thy crown. So we just have to maintain, and the Lord is going to come back and get us. He's going to protect us and save us. And empower us. Verse 12. Him that overcometh will I make a pillar in the temple of my power. And he shall go no more out. And I will write upon him the name of my power. And the name of the city of my power. Which is New Jerusalem. Which cometh down out of the heaven from my power. And I will write upon him my new name. So Yahweh Shai is handpicking and sealing those with his name. All right, Those that are chosen. And it says we're going to be made pillars in the temple, meaning what? We're going to stand boldly, like it tells you in that wisdom of Solomon 5 and 1, before the face of such as have uh, afflicted them. And you devils aren't going to stop us. You heathens, you're not going to stop us this time. All right, that's the difference between the ancient world and now. You're not going to hinder us. We will prevail. We shall overcome. All right. So with that, I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rechach Rosh, of honors to the elders and apostles of the Millstone. Peace, blessings, and salutations to all the elect Akim. Walk with them in teaching truth and sincerity. Let them say shalom.